people ran to churches, pastors turned around and killed them also. In Kenya, people ran to churches, pastors turned around and killed them. And they burnt them in the churches. Pastors surrendered them, say, that was another tribe, kill that one. He licked them. Pastors knew the list of who is from another tribe here in Kenya recently. Isn't it true? Where is the church that Jesus purchased? Hallelujah. And he says here, verse 13, Revelation 19. He is dressed in a robe dipped in blood. You see that? And his name is the word of God. The armies of heaven. This is what I want to bring you on the rapture door. The armies of heaven are following him. Riding on white horses. And dressed in fine linen. White and clean. Did you see that fine linen before the rapture? And now you see it at the second coming of Christ. That means when you prepare today and spiritually begin to enter into the rapture today. Today you tell yourself, Lord, I am not going to wait for rapture because that day you will essentially close the door. And it happens like this. So you don't even have time to prepare. I am going to prepare today, which means if I am a woman here, I'm going to my closet. Look at what clothes are full of prostitution that I've been wearing. You see that? Some of you women have even kept clothes that some of your boyfriends gave you before you married. Some of you women have kept rings that some of your boyfriends gave you before you married your husband. That every day when you look at that ring, you feel good. Can we talk about these things? Let us talk today. Some of you women have kept even shoes that your other illicit, evil boyfriends gave you when you went to those dates. And you are busy lying to your husband that, you know, I'm just keeping it there. But every day you open the closet, you look at it, it has a quenching thing it does into your evil heart. Some evil quenching. That when this man disturbs me these days like this, I always go to the closet and smell the other cloth. Don't I know these things? They even smell that when I smell, I, I smell the other man. Do you want us to talk about these things today? It must end today. If you want to enter the rapture. You have watches and rings bought you by some, some illegal, so, some evil relationships. You have kept them. I will tell you to throw them away. Right? The Lord is saying, get rid of the yeast. Because the devil will sneak in yeast without you knowing. You understand? If you want to enter through this door, do you hear me? When the devil sees Paul, he has the name Saul, and the devil has seen how God is planning to use him, the devil takes him earlier. You see that? So Saul is persecuting Christians. And then later on, writing almost two-thirds of the New Testament, right? Right? So that's why you have to be very careful. Scrutinize them. Let the Spirit reveal to you. You see that? Time has come for you, the church, to enter. Let nothing stop you from entering through this door. Because you'll never enter with a car, with a home, with a, whatever your values are. You know, people have value systems. Homes, car, nini, whatever. School fees, school children, my kid to be educated. Whatever they are. Education of your kids. Let those things not stop you from entering through this door. Because here what I see is that the gown you prepare before the rapture is the gown you enter with where? Into the rapture. And it's the gown they are coming with back with Jesus. You see that? Did you realize that? The armies of heaven. Those are the raptured saints. The arm, verse 14. The armies of heaven were following him Riding on white horses, dressed in fine linen, bright and clean. So that means what you decide today, we are talking today. You people have to repent today. If, if, if there is any speck, 
If you have that little watch that your girlfriend gave you many years ago, that spiritual little watch, I'm talking about spiritual now, that has been hidden in your heart. That woman, when you preach, she smiles at you. A little lasting going on, but you know I have my safety valves. You see that? No, I am safe. I, I no, no, no. She, your wife, your, your wife is complaining. Be careful. No, 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 no. No, I'm mature. You have to throw that today here in repentance. Get rid of those little watches and throw them away. Do you hear me? The devil may have slipped them. See, with most of you know them anyway, or maybe secretly, without knowing. Whether it's a dress that is lingering in your closet, you've grown bigger than that dress. Throw it away. A man, if it is just that chain, that watch, I don't know, me, I don't know, I'm just mentioning things. If it is a car, get rid of it. That every time I enter this car, I remember my girlfriend. The devil is using that to hold church hostage. In America, they entertained homosexuality at the altar. Now they cannot come out to rebuke homosexual marriages in California. Let us clean out the house. Because the same gown you prepare today, until eternity, you return with it where? To Jerusalem. And that's why Isaiah said, when he saw the door, he said, excuse me, when he saw the door, he said, enter those rooms, shut yourself, my people, into those rooms for a little while. That is seven years. In the Jewish wedding, our Lord is, is Jewish, by the way. You like it or not? He's Jewish. In the Jewish wedding, I remember in Israel, my Jewish friends, when they were wedding, Ron, one of them is called Ron, the one who really, really invited me to his wedding, who wanted really me to be there. You see? When a young man discovers his bride-to-be, you see that? He takes her to her parents. There they drink one, from one glass of wine, one glass they share in front of the parents. Hallelujah. And then, the parents write a small scroll as a covenant that these two have agreed they will wait for each other. You understand? Now she will wait for me, I will wait for her. It's a covenant of faithfulness, right? The man takes this written scroll to the father and says, Father, I have discovered, I have found my bride. And look, we drank even from one glass in front of our parents. A sign of covenant. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is the covenant of the cup Jesus presented at last supper. Do you remember that? When he told the church, do this in remembrance of me. Meaning, please wait for me. Don't go to another man. Are we maturing today? And that is a covenant of spiritual faithfulness that the church ought to have maintained with Christ. To have waited on Christ. You don't go back and find that you, the, the, the girl you wanted to marry started going to drink in the bars. She has your engagement ring, but she's just out moving with men. In sexual sin. The church is guilty of sexual sin. Spiritual sexual sin. The church is guilty of unfaithfulness to the bridegroom. She went to the men of witchcraft. The men of the false prophets. The men of deception and lies. The men of money. The men of the gospel of wealth transfer being preached on global TV today. That please Christians wait for a lot of wealth is going to come from the world to you. And yet that wealth will drift you away from Christ. That is common knowledge today that wealth drifts people away from the Lord. Makes men drunk. After You know pastors begin, I want, Lord I want to preach, I'm hungry, I have fire. The Lord sends a few people in his life, anoints him, he preaches with fire, more people come.